Hello lovely friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm Nikki Pasquier. I'm a Canva certified creative and I help small business owners like you amplify their brands online using branded visual content. If you've not been here before, be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications so you'll be one of the first people to see my new tutorials. Today I'm going to be talking about YouTube banner art. You only have one chance to make a good first impression on social media and your banner or your header image is the best place to start. It's the first thing that prospective customers will see when they click to view your Twitter profile, your Facebook page and your YouTube channel. So today you're going to learn how to make that perfect first impression with your YouTube banner. Secondly, you're going to learn how to use this incredible visual space to generate leads organically using a very simple trick. And lastly, I'll be giving you the chance to download the exact same YouTube banner template that I created in Canva that's going to save you a lot of time, effort and guesswork when it comes to creating your own banner. If you keep watching, everything will become very clear in just a few moments. So if you're ready, let's make a start. The YouTube banner is probably the trickiest of all social media header images. That's because some of the areas that are visible on a laptop aren't visible on an iPad. And then some of the areas which are visible on desktop and iPad aren't visible on a smartphone. Could it be more tricky? But let's start off with looking at the dimensions that YouTube recommends you use. So over onto my YouTube channel, I'm just going to click on this little camera icon here and see what YouTube suggests for creating my channel art. So I'm just going to click on this little link at the bottom here. And you'll see some text uh, right here. It says for the best results on all devices, we recommend uploading one two five six zero times one four four zero pixel image. Brilliant. So we know exactly what dimensions to use for our YouTube banner art. So hopping over to Canva, I'm just going to search for a YouTube banner or channel art. And I'm not sure if you can pick this out, but in very faint text, it gives us the correct dimensions that YouTube suggests. So I'm just going to click on that link. And you can see that Canva brings up a whole selection of YouTube banner art for you to choose from. Now, they're all free templates, so you can have a good old scroll through and see what catches your eye. I'm just going to click on this one to have a closer look. Now, if when you bring up a template onto your Canva desktop, it's not exactly what you want, you can have a look at all the different templates on the left hand side of your screen and you'll see that they're broken down into various categories. So you've got makeup YouTube channel art, you've got travel, beauty, music. If you want to narrow down your search even more, you can use the search tool. So if you're in the food business, for instance, you can just type in food and hit return and see what Canva gives us. And actually, there's a really lovely selection of templates that you can use. So far, so pretty easy. Unfortunately, what this template doesn't show you are the areas which are visible on a smartphone, an iPad and a desktop. And I can tell you they are all different, which is why I created my own template. I've taken the time to mark out exactly where all the safe areas are so that your banner is optimised for all devices. I'll give you a link to download this exact same template to save you a lot of time and effort. So now I'm going to show you how to create your own YouTube banner from scratch using a blank template. So I'm going to click on this link below. And I've got a blank template to start work with. Next, click on the link to your free Canva template to bring it up onto your Canva desktop. You're then going to click on the download arrow and download your template as a PNG file. Once you've done that, you're going to upload the entire template again to Canva. 
And I know this sounds long-winded, but I'll explain why you do this in just a minute. Once uploaded, click your template once to bring it up onto your Canva desktop. Now what you can do is you can go ahead and design your own YouTube banner art using this template and you're going to add all the elements you need using these guidelines. There's certain information that you really need to include on a YouTube banner. So first off, you need to let visitors know exactly what you do. And in Sunny Lenarduzzi's case, she's helping you be your own boss. Ideally, you also need to let visitors know how often they can expect a new video from you. So Sunny uploads new episodes every Tuesday and Friday. If you've been featured in any magazines or publications, you can also list them below. So in Sunny's case, she's been featured in The Entrepreneur magazine, Forbes, Fast Company and Inc. So she's definitely a YouTube expert to follow. And now with all that information in mind and with my template guidelines to help me, I'm going to create my own YouTube banner. So you can see from my banner that I help people by creating YouTube tutorials. They are for small businesses and they can expect new tutorials every Tuesday and Thursday. So those are the very basic bits of information that you'll need to put on your banner. And now I'm going to show you why my template is so useful. I'm going to select the background photograph here and I'm going to click on the transparency tool here and I'm going to slide this button down until I've almost made the photograph completely transparent. And now underneath the photograph I can see these various guidelines. So this area here is visible on desktop, this area here is visible on a tablet and the darker shaded area is visible on a smartphone. And all the essential elements, my text for instance, are all visible on all devices. And that is really important. So I'm going to select the background photo again and slide the transparency button to 100. Let me just share Roberto Blake's YouTube banner with you because this is another great example of how to create a really striking YouTube banner. He's included all the essential elements here. And also, if you look on the right hand side, Roberto is using his YouTube banner to generate as many leads organically as he can. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. Using my own YouTube channel as an example, you'll see in the bottom right hand corner of your channel banner, you'll find a clickable link to a website, as well as links to your social media profiles. To set these up, just go to your customize channel button and you'll see a tiny pencil icon in the top right hand corner. Click on that once and then click on edit links. Scrolling down, you can see that you can add your own custom links. Now only the first five are visible on your channel art, so it's not really worth adding any more, but if you wanted to, you just click on this button here. Now you have the chance not only to add links to your social media profiles, but also to a website, so it can be your business URL, but most importantly, it can be a link to a landing page or a sales page. And this is exactly how you can generate leads organically. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete this and then I'm going to copy and paste a link to my Canva template shop. 
Fabulous. When you're happy with all the changes, just click on Done. And you can see here that the first link visible is by Canva Templates. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop back to Canva. I'm going to select my banner photo again, go to the transparency tool. I'm going to make the banner photo almost transparent, but just enough so I can see my guidelines underneath. Now I'm not sure if you can see clearly enough, but underneath you can see a gray box. And this is where I've mapped out approximately where these links will appear. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a call to action on my YouTube banner to get people clicking on that link. And now that I've finished all of that, the last thing I need to do is to select the template behind my banner and click on delete to get rid of it. I'm going to download it now as a PNG file and I'm going to upload it to my YouTube channel to see if it all works out. Fantastic, and there is my YouTube banner. Visitors will know exactly how I can help them with Canva tutorials. They are for small businesses and they can expect new tutorials every Tuesday and Thursday. And the best trick of all, they can shop Canva templates by clicking on this link here. And that goes directly to my Canva template shop. The only drawback is that your call to action will only really be visible on desktop but all the other essential elements are visible perfectly on a smartphone and an iPad. So that is it for this week. Please do let me know if you generate any leads via your YouTube channel using my little ninja tip. If you have any suggestions or comments, leave them in the comments box below. And I look forward to seeing you again next time.